And you guys are the news? No, I film everything. That's okay. So here's this pro-life event out here in Spokane, right next to the Planned Parenthood out here on August 22nd. And probably five to 700 people out here lining the block, waving signs, praying, and, and supporting life and liberty. And when it's over, it, it, it goes from 9 to 11. There's still people out here, but as, as the people are disappearing at 11 o'clock, the news media shows up and, and pretends like they're covering the news when in reality they're coming here to control the narrative, but we're not going to let them control the narrative. You're with KHQ? I know, I know it's not your job. I know you can't. I did my producer's job. So. I know. Can, let me ask you, you a question. Here. Thank you for being here, though, okay? It's, it's cool that you showed up, but did your news agency intentionally send you down when this was over so that they could portray it as being less people here? Because there was like 500 people here earlier. So we just found out about it. Really? Yeah. And you guys are the news? No, I film everything. That's okay. Well, I'm you you film too, right? <laughs> I mean, we both do that. I'm so. <laughs> All right. I'm just curious because it seems like that the news is intentionally showing up when this is over. And I would think if KHQ was going to uh, Thank you. cover this Thank with you. a little more journalistic integrity, they would try and cover what actually happened. You know, I'm not trying to pick on you in particular or anything. I'm just... With all due respect... I will talk to you. I don't want to be videotaped. I, I have to videotape because I want to call out news agencies that okay, are well, that are not the covering the news. We we got phone calls. This was happening. Right. And that's why we're on. Okay. And and understand. I'm really not trying to pick on you, okay. but pass it on. You guys you guys are a news agency, so we hold you to a little bit of accountability. And you might look into what's you know what's the events that are happening, so you can get here on time in the future. Okay. Hey, you be safe. What's your, what's your name? I'm really not trying to to be to me. Pick, my name's Gavin. Max. Max. All right. You have a good day. Stop Planned Parenthood! Stop Planned Parenthood! Stop Planned Parenthood! Stop Planned Parenthood! See, if we had news agencies doing their job and actually reporting truth instead of trying to spin it, because here's KHQ out here, they're spinning it so they can say, hey, look, there's a few people that came out to protest. And you know that that's how they'll portray it. Even though this road was lined with people an hour ago, they actually come out as it's ending and then... <laughs> Say, well, don't film me, don't film me, when they're the news. You've got to start calling people out. You've got to start holding these people accountable. These lackeys for lawlessness and government are a disgrace to liberty and to our nation. These guys aren't reporting news. They're reporting their agenda. And look, now they're leaving. Guess he decided not to cover it at all. They're just going to pretend it didn't happen. Folks, liberty is, is just, it's equal, it's pure, it's for everyone. If you stand for liberty for your gun rights, for your freedom of speech, if you stand for liberty for your neighbor, you have to stand for liberty for the unborn. All men are created equal. And so we, we need to unite. The patriots need to unite with the pro-lifers and the people that are passionate about liberty need to work together. We need to start calling out those that are working against liberty, that are selling us out, the politicians and the bureaucrats and the pastors that are frauds from the pulpit. We need to start taking a stand to restore liberty, injustice, and righteousness. And it starts with us. It starts with you and me taking a stand and being willing to stand the line bold for liberty on every front.